Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Yo, shapeshifters be looking real nice right now. Let me tell you, we're taking a look at a card with Vitinha, who is five foot eight, high medium work rates, left footed, five star skimmels, four star weak foot. If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Okay, okay. Uh, player traits, finesse shot traits, outside foot shot traits, flare, long shot. See, here's the thing, man. By default, it looks cool because he's left footed with five star skills, giving you PSG Portuguese links. Okay, that by default is great because I can use a card like this in like the left sided areas. And it's great because with him, with the way that it looks, it's probably going to be a card I give a hunt or two, to be honest with you, right? I just work with the dribbling as it is, with the dribbling stats being in the mid 90s area because he's five foot eight. He's a smaller player. And if I remember correctly from his other card, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive that uh, he had a really good body type as well. Like, I think it's like a, I forget exactly what it was, but I know it was like a lean or something. What was it again? Let me see. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, it was a lean. I remember because I remember uh, checking out this version of his card during that time period. And it was a card that you would use in the attacking oriented center mid position. But it was more like usable during that time period. This card's a little bit different because with him, I can make him a really decent car to use in the left sided areas, right? Like if I'm playing 4-2-3-1, 4-4-2, that type of deal, it looks really nice because high, 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 medium work rates. Oh, Wait, this is not this is not correct then. Okay, so high medium is in the game. High medium is in the game. Because I was I was like, wait a second, because I'm flipping it's high high. So I think they're still probably updating it. Yeah, high medium. There you go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give him a hunter chemistry cell. I want to improve his shooting and his pace. It's gonna be the most important thing for sure. Passing is gonna be in a very good area. Dribbling, considering the fact that he's smaller with lean body type, it should work out well enough, right? If it doesn't, then I probably have to give him like a probably like an engine or something honestly to boost the dribbling balance and agility but hopefully that's not something they have to do because hunter would be very important for this card um defensive stats he actually has some as well interceptions at a 74 and then for physical stats 96 for stamina 90 for jumping 78 for strength 85 for aggression okay okay uh let's go ahead and unlock the card and i'll show you guys how we line them up Okay, guys, so again, the key thing here is going to be how responsive his left stick dribbling is, right? Because the price point of the card with both of the shooting traits, technical dribbler, like a bunch of that stuff, very good, right? But his dribbling in game on that lean bar type five foot eight has to be really good. So that's going to be the key thing here, okay? Uh, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. I have to make a new tactic. Okay, cool. So yeah, we have it set up for a four, three, two, one. Like so, the one I just reviewed, the most recent one I reviewed from the pro player. Um, well, normally, he's left-footed, right? So I would do this. But for the review, we'll do this. We'll do constant switching between these two, just so I can... Uh, actually, this is supposed to be like that. Yeah. And uh, we'll basically just go from there. So, yeah. Let's see what he's like, man. Oh, oh, get up, get up, get up. Oh, nothing. Once I get that touch on the inside there with his left foot, that's it. And try a distance strike with the green. Why not? That works. Bad giveaway. We get the ball on his left foot. Get a little green time finet or green time power strike. Sure. That's a. Uh, that's interesting. Never intended, but you know. Tap shot. Yep. There it is. That's why this formation is so good. It just opens up like crazy.
Okay, so coming off of the drag on a green, he completely scuffs that shot. He lost possession, Alexis Sanchez. Takes aim. Oh, couldn't get the green on it. Oh, okay. Didn't even green it. Didn't even green it. Uh, I will say the initial dribble there was a little bit shaky. It was a little bit shaky there. That was actually good movement. Ah, uh, should I work that finesse shot angle again? Later, go up. Pass it off. Good. Scoop. Oh, it was a good power strike, though. Now he must favor the cross. Well, that was such a good stop from B. A very important one. They're not out of this just yet. Well, it was a splendid piece of goalkeeping, but he has to remain on his toes. Tap shot. Oh, I got to do power there, man. What am I doing a tap shot there for? No, oh, nice try. I got him on the skill move, though. Go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I got the initial scoop, but the other guy was there. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Opportunity here. Good finish. Good finish. I'll take that. Opportunity it is. Can he open them up here? He, this guy's just switching everything. He's like, which one do I choose? <laughs> See how the second 45 plays out. Sanchez. Oh, man. I just had to get like a touch there to get the skill move off. Alexis Sanchez. Textbook closing down. And now they're on the attack. Oh, yes. Sure. We'll take that. Okay, so what I'm noticing so far, guys, is the dribbling, right? So even though he's a lean body type player with lower 90s, um, I'm going to see what he's like on an engine. I I'm curious to see what that's going to be like on the card. I had a red time and I still scored. Yeah, I'm curious to see because the hunter, it still improves important areas of the card to kind of work with those traits, right? So I'm very curious to see. Ah, uh, you guys see what I'm saying, though, about the dribbling? Like, you see the animations that he's making sometimes, right? So I'm very curious. Okay, those are, like, super low percentage strikes, but there's no, like, real venom in those situations. Yeah, you know what he's compensating like crazy in? It's the traits, man. The traits, he's compensating really well with those traits. Like, those traits, that was a really big deal they gave that to him. I'm telling you that right now. Yeah, you see the shooting? The shooting's nice on that hunter, man. Could go on and score more. This could get really embarrassing. Just the challenge 
Nice. Beauty. Keep going. Okay, his running is not the fastest. I'll trigger shield. Did well there, but the other guy's on him. I'm gonna try a shot from a distance. Sure. Good finish. Oh, it's a direct shot, anyways. Ah, oh, nice try, nice try. I don't, uh, that was the weirdest animation I've ever seen. What did I just see there? What did his goalie just do? Oh, I had him too for sure. Well done. Well done, well done. Guys, I have the engine on him, but like, just put the hunter. I, I, I'm using the engine because I just want to see the dribbling, like for the sake of the review, you know what I'm saying? Now, guys, listen, his dribbling is not bad. It's just, I'm I'm comparing it to someone like Bernardo Silva with the height and that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's what I'm comparing it to the most part. But on a hunter, you know what's really, really compensating well in the card is the shooting traits, man. The shooting traits is a really, really big deal. Ah, over the bar. Oh, lucky. Too much power, man. Too much. Shoot! Yes. There it is. Well done. Well done. Ah. Okay, okay. He's not going to consistently do the loops because of his uh, base a shot power, right? So he'll maybe get it sometimes for consistency, but... Ah, I gotta hit that green. Gotta hit that green. And there it is again. That's what I'm saying, man. That finesse shot, like, I just gotta get that green on it. I'm chilling. Okay, so, key thing here, sometimes his dribbling is weird, okay? Even if you give him the engine, like, it is sometimes a little weird. He has that, like, thing to it sometimes. Oh, that's a direct as well. The fact that he even won that header was kind of impressive. Oof, imagine I score that to the near post. And back to Verratti. And we need to get tighter here. Oh, imagine if I got past him there. Mbappe. He takes aim. 
Oh, I hit that on a red. Come on. Oof, I think I was going top left. Well, they've decided to make a change. And the corner's been given. Okay. Like I said, the shooting is the thing that compensates a lot for it. Okay? The shooting compensates a lot. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Vitinha SPC. So, guys... In regards to how this card performs in game, I wanted to try him out on two different chemistry styles just to test one thing of the card, okay? So, I gave him the Hunter chemistry style because obviously for the meta of this game, improving the pace and the shooting to be as high as possible is obviously incredibly ideal uh, for you to get into your goal scoring situations, right? Um, and then the other chemistry style I gave, and this was more for the sake of the review, was the engine chemistry style because I wanted to improve those three main dribbling stats just to see what the card was like in game. Okay, so a few things to mention. All right, with this card on an engine, by default, like I want to use an engine on him. Okay, I, it has to be a card that you have to give the hunter chemistry style to because in this game, pace and shooting is going to be very important to boost as much as possible. Why? Is it important to give him the hunter it's because of the shooting traits that the card is working with right the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait in game is going to be very very helpful if you boost the shooting to essentially be perfect the only thing that people would probably want for consistency is obviously for the outside foot shots outside the 18 yard box for that to be lower on the shot power but you obviously can't do that for this card um but when it comes to shooting power strikes the finesse shots from outside the 18 yard box he hits them very well because his center of gravity is low, right? Being a five foot eight player with a lean body type is incred incredibly noticeable in games when it comes to the shooting capabilities, okay? Now, one thing that I do need to mention, and you guys were able to see it in the gameplay, right? Is that his dribbling does have moments of being weird, okay? So when you dribble with this card, try to utilize a lot of the L1, R1 dribbling to get past people, right? Because there were moments where I'm just using the left stick where he sometimes adds this like really weird emphasis on the ball. Like there's some players that you'll use where it's just like boom, 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 right? But it's hard to compare, right? Because you take a look at his dribbling stats and where it's at five foot eight at a lean body type. And then obviously if you take a look at this absolute beast of a left stick card, his dribbling stats is all in the 99s, right? But it makes sense for him because five foot eight to lean body type, very noticeable on that. So I wish for base card stats, they improved Vitinha to be in a general area like that because it'd be so sick to essentially have like a high medium work rated Vitinha on the left side that or not excuse me a high medium work rated Bernardo Silva on the left side that has pace right for like the 4-4-2s or the 4-2-3-1s and that kind of thing so that was the main thing right I didn't notice the dribbling sometimes being weird but if you utilize L1 R1 dribbling it's not that bad to work with guys Here's the big variable with this Vitinha card, right? There's a bunch. One, Portuguese PSG links. Two, he's left-footed. Three, he has uh, a bunch of the player traits that you need for shooting, right? The finesse shot trait, the outside foot shot trait. Very, very helpful to work with. Even though that dribbling has like a weird element to it, who cares, guys? Because he has five-star skills. The five-star skills in this game is your dribbling. Getting that one drag touch into the elastical and stuff. That's what people do all the time anyway. So the fact that they gave him the skill moves and the traits was a really, really big deal to add to the card. Because guys, listen, for me personally, if I'm playing consistently, right, and I need a left-footed player on the left side and I'm building some sort of Portuguese team, I think he's the only card that exists that isn't Bernardo Silva. Because Bernardo Silva is more of like a cam, play through the middle type of guy, right? So if I were to compare some of the uh, Portuguese players and I put them on the left side... Or, you know what, even better, let's just go for a left-footed player, right? It's just Bernardo Silva. Guerrero is a center mid. Bernardo Silva is more like a cam. You guys know, I've, I've used Bernardo Silva. Like, sure, he can play in the side positions, but he's more of a cam. Vitinha is the type of player that I would play in that side area, right? Like, if I'm playing like a 4-4-2, um, a 4-4-2, a 4-2-3-1 a lamb position, it fits my play style because, listen, this card on a Hunter chemistry style... He has the pace, he has the shooting, and he's explosive, okay? So like I'm mentioning, the dribbling will sometimes be a little bit weird for people because when you're short and your dribbling is weird, like when there's pressure, it's a little bit uh, awkward in, in certain situations. But guys, I'm going to be honest, man. They gave him very important things for this to still be a pretty cool SPC, right? The traits, the fact that he has pace and shooting now, right? 
very big deal. Like the traits really compensates well for the card, right? Especially if you get in those like finesse shot areas, it's still very nice to work with. So for me, I still like the SPC. Definitely going to complete him on the other accounts because if I want to play a left-footed player on the left side, he's the only player that I can work with. That still provides me fantastic links, okay? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.